So we're going to do um, the pedal curve of a hyperbola um, using a similar mechanism to um, the way we did the uh, pedal curve um, of uh, um, of the of the ellipse. So here's uh, we start with a crank. I'm going to give this a, a particular length a. And we'll make its angle um, specified, theta. And then um, we're going to have a, a, another location um, on the axis. And this one is going to be um, uh, located at one, well, at a, at a fixed distance on the axis. And we'll call that um, B. Um, and now we're going to have um, for the hyperbola here, this B is got to be a bit bigger than A, so let's make that happen. Um, going that out to the bit there. And we're now going to have a, um, a line which is perpendicular uh, to BC. And um, yeah, we're going to pick the rather unfortunate location, so let's just move move that round because I want to be able to draw another line uh, out from A. Um, it's going to be perpendicular um, to that. Now uh, you can arrange the, these different constraints uh, using sliders. Um, but now the point D is going to is going to be the one that uh, traces out my curve, um, and let's just uh, show that. Trace that as theta varies, and that's uh, um, this is the curve that that I'm uh, I'm creating. So let's just see what his equation is. So there we have a uh, fourth order curve. Um, but the question is, well, what's that the pedal curve of? Well, it's the, the pedal, the, the, you get the pedal curve by uh, from an initial curve by uh, projecting a, a pedal point onto the tangents to that curve. So the, the curve of which this is, the pedal curve is going to be the one which is the envelope of that line. Now, our locus tool, uh, if you've selected a line, it will actually create um, an envelope of that. If you create, select a point, it creates a, um, a locus. If you select a line, it creates the envelope. Um, so this is the curve of which, uh, um, of which our original curve is uh, the pedal curve, let me just change its, its color so that, um, we can distinguish them. And so um, here we see that our line, as we move around, stays tangent to that, um, uh, that new curve, uh, while the point D, our pedal point, is a projection of A onto that tangent. But what exactly is that curve? Looks like it might be a hyperbola. Um, so let's just see what its equation is um, to, to check up on it. Equation of that curve. Um, indeed, what have we got? We've got an x squared and a y squared. Um, uh, it's definitely is a hyperbola.